brake pedal. Okay, push power switch to start. Or is it so quiet that I... That's what I don't know. Maybe we're good. We're driving. We're, we're moving here. So how's your foot? Good. Definitely getting better. It's been nice to walk for the last two weeks. Feel a little bit more human than uh, the crutches. All the equipment changes, and I mean the equipment is so much better now. You'd think they'd be able to come up, and they have those shot blockers. Right. Things. But yeah, I managed to, to get in front of a puck and the one spot that was going to cause damage. But yeah, it's definitely definitely changed over the years. Oh, it's crazy. Like, the guys used to break shin pads, and right. uh, nobody would block shots. Put you in a, in a tough position <laughs> when guys were getting out of the way. <laughs> That's why you have the big pads on. That used oh. to be the line. Were they that big, Bull? <laughs> they weren't that big. They weren't that big. And they were heavy. They were horse hair and oh, they weighed yeah. like 40 pounds. This must seem like I'm a little bit older, but I'm a goalie. Right. Like yeah. your brother driving you My around. Brother, it's yeah, just I like know. your brother driving. Well, it's funny. Uh, I did a quick little bit of research on you <laughs> beforehand. I saw that too. It's funny. Um, you mentioned being two smaller guys driving around today. That yeah. But I wanted to be a goalie while growing up <laughs> because of him too. Um, but yeah. uh, maybe a smart decision to, yeah, to stay a skater. Yeah, no kidding. You look around and, oh, goalie, you got to be crazy. Well, maybe the position makes you that yeah, way. <laughs> it's definitely a two-way street, I would think. <laughs> Goalies always seem to have some pretty good knowledge of, of everything. The world. We're smarter than everybody else. We're going to control the world someday. Uh, you might lose the numbers. You might lose the numbers game. Yeah, we might lose the numbers game. Uh, well, how long have you lived here in Vancouver? Oh, 30 years. I got traded here in uh, from Quebec in '83. Richard Brodeur was the other goalie, and he got hit in the head, and he was supposed to go to the All Star game. The league decided, well, it's too late. And okay, the backup can go to the All Star. Oh, so man. I go to the All Star game. I got no votes in either division. Yeah. We ended up winning. And they voted for the MVP with about 10 minutes left. And I played, it was only two goalies, and I played the second half of the game, and I made a few saves, and I was pretty good. So, And there was nobody else who really stood out. Yeah. So with 10 minutes left, I'm going to win there the car. Are. I'm going to win this there car. There you are. And uh, Wayne Gretzky comes out, and there's about, I'd say, you know, maybe nine minutes left, and he scores. And then he goes off, and then he comes, and the coach, Roger throws him out again. Mm -hmm. And he scores again. He scored four goals in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> there goes my car. He's done. Uh, you're going to lose a car to someone. <laughs> yeah, you might as well use it to, a, to, to a great one. Huh? Lose it to Gretzky. I get on the plane and I, I'm amazed at the never hungry league. You know, there's always the buffet set up and then you have the choices of the meals. Our pregame meal is a steak and french fries and then chocolate sundaes for dessert. I remember my first year, always take an extra to-go box to start and then yeah. you realize, like, yeah. I don't need that. I don't need this extra one. Gordy Howe had the same, like you say, superstition and good luck yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Chicken, fried chicken every day really? for a pregame meal. Whatever works, I yeah. guess, right? Yes. I mean, that guy has Gordy out. That works. We're Gordy out. Yeah. The pregame meal and diet outlook has changed so much. Yeah. It used to be, you know, carbs and protein, yeah. and now it's making sure you get you know, all your essential vitamins from your meals and stuff. And then the whole gluten-free thing yeah. craze now. And we did we do blood work to find out <laughs> food sensitivities. There's a whole a whole formula, but. Now and then the the boys do get spoiled with uh, a burger bar or something oh, yeah. like that, and they normally have a good time there. I don't eat a whole lot, but I eat just crap. <laughs> and Murph always is filming me I've, eating crap. I've heard it. I've heard uh, a few things.